So you just want an easy way to add upper body aim into the default gameplay animation sample project. Not a problem. The first thing you need is BS. Of course, obviously I'm talking about blend spaces. If you don't know how to make that, you can find a link to my tutorial about it in the pinned comment. Anyways, you'll want to copy the way they have aiming set up normally. So you'll want aiming straight forward, 90 degrees down, and 90 degrees up. And for each of them, you'll want to be able to look to the side negative 90, negative 40, 0, 45, and 90 degrees. So your tree should look something like this. Now you will also want one separate idle aim and forward animation. This cannot be the same as the one that we use in the blend space because the blend space animations have to be set to mesh space additive and animation from frame, but the idle looking forward animation should be set to non-additive. All right, now after you got all this set up, we'll take advantage of the fact that Gasp already has the default input key for aim and forward called wants to aim. It's triggered when you hold down the right click button. So we're just gonna piggyback off of it and set it up so that when we right click, our aim and blend space kicks in. Now to do that, from the two-way blend, cache the output, then grab a layer blend per bone, and then we add an array element and set it to spine 01. Then drag the cache into it and drag our aim and forward idle animation into it like this. Then a blend pose by bool, and drag out a get input states and right click to split the struct and at the very bottom you will see one that says wants to aim. Drag that into our bool value here and connect everything together like so. Okay. All we're doing is basically saying when we hold down the right click button, we want the aiming animation to kick in, but only for the upper body above spine 1. Otherwise, just do the normal stuff. Now if we go to the right, from the blend pose by bool, we're gonna get another blend pose by bool and plug the idle stand into the false. Then drag out our rifle aim blend space and right click the aw, set it to get AO value X and then right click the pitch and set it to get AO value Y. And for the bool trigger, you'll just use the exact same setup as the right click aim from before. Save and you're done. Now whenever we right click, it'll trigger our upper body blend space and when we release it, it will go back to the default run. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.